psychic hotline queen, Miss Cleo, came across people's late night television screens and into their lives with a Jamaican accent and a reassuring tone that millions dialed in to hear. After becoming a cult figure in the 1990s, Miss Cleo, whose real name was Yuri Del Harris, had a resurgence when she came out as a lesbian. All of this and more is being explored in the new HBO Max documentary, Call Me Miss Cleo. Media then mocked her many times, uh, mocked her in many ways and different times, but what helped her stand apart was the ability to believe in what she had, something we all need in today's time. Warning, a psychic reading can be powerful and life-altering. Call me now. 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 You realize that your life is not ever going to be the same. Miss Cleo was a psychic advisor, and she read tarot cards. If anyone watched TV after midnight, you knew who Miss Cleo was. The best entertainment I could possibly imagine. She had such a presence. They didn't just want to hear about the future. They wanted what she gave. She gave you the truth. But not everyone had the same experience. The U.S. government really brought the hammer down against Miss Cleo for defrauding consumers. She was born in Los Angeles. She created this Miss Cleo character, which had a Jamaican accent. There were a lot of people making money from this, and the more money they made, the more money they wanted. As far as the company profits, Miss Cleo didn't appear she was getting any of that. A lot of her life was such a mystery. Who's the real Miss Cleo? The web of stories, it seems, is far and wide. Cleo may have been a character to cope with whatever was going on in her life, but it was still very real for her. That's the enigma of this woman. Was it performative? Yes. Was she actually trying to help people? Yes, again. They wanted me to create a character. I'm not a character, I'm a real person. Don't be fooled by thinking what you know is the whole story. Well, question number five, with a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. Lesbian star Miss Cleo will be the real, fake TV psychic I need in these troubled times. <laughs> I wish she was still alive. Yeah. I saw the docuseries. It was very well made. Kudos to HBO for doing that. I think it was great. Um, you know, she was a black queer woman who was taken advantage by the machine. Ooh, big it. You know, that's what it is. They, oh, yeah, okay, she created this character, but they made millions and millions mm. out off this uh, psychic network that was three ninety nine a minute, and a minute, and people would call for hours on end. Yep. You know, and at the end, she died penniless. And then she died of cancer at a at a young age. You know, so basically, she was like world known. You know, and then when all these things started happening, and the and the psychic network got sued, and all these lawsuits come came coming, they turned their backs on her and basically said, "You're on your own." Yep. You know, so I mean, it's a, I, I, it's about time they do this docuseries because she really was a prominent black woman. And I didn't even know she was a lesbian until this docuseries. It's, it's, the, it's the nature of America, the history that your governor doesn't want and wants to know how we u utilize. Wait, did you say your governor? I did, because, you know, you said I, I'm the person that brings down with the government conversation. <laughs> so I had to go out there. But, but we utilize the black woman. And then when all else fails, we throw her away and we, we run away from her. She never got any money. She said, you know, she got, she got famous by simply saying, call me now. I mean, how many of us in the 90s, I know y'all weren't born then, but we're running around saying that Max might have been. Yeah. yeah I was but there. she, again, the, the American story come to life, and I agree with you, Faye. Had we not had this documentary, we would never learn about the gifts that she had offered to yeah. the country. Yeah. Because once you act that character, you believe in the, the betterment of the world. You know, I remember uh, Miss Cleo's commercials in the late nights, but I don't remember any interaction from or reaction from the gay community. Does anybody remember? Was there any reaction? Did we fall into no. this? Or? No. No, because, it, because she wasn't out. Al, nobody knew yeah, her as lesbian until that. years later. Yeah. And then by then, that had already subsided and nobody paid attention yeah. anymore. Yeah, okay. So broader uh, of yes. her being the lesbian, did, uh, did the LGBTQ community call Miss Cleo because they were as fascinated about Call Me Now? No, we, we weren't home. We were out in the clothes partying. No. So, they, so no, we weren't. But I think, I think universally, That's yes. That's expensive. Universally, because it, remember how many parties were done, by, done on her? Mm -hmm. How many jokes were in made? Mad, Mad TV. TV. Mm -hmm. um, the Wayans the Wayans show, in Living Color, they had, I mean, everybody, if you had a skit show, you made a, a parody of her. So she touched a lot of lives. 
And so I think in that way, we probably kind of fell into the shuffle. But did we call her? We were out drinking and having fun, no, you know, being a kid. I, I think gay people called also. I really yeah, do, okay? Yeah. I, I do. I do think so. Unfortunately, it just, you know, how... Faye, if you called Miss Cleo today, uh, yeah. your sister is a lesbian, what would you ask her about? Why she didn't come out sooner, you know? I mean, I would have taken a taste of that hot chocolate. She looks <laughs> such a pretty woman. Can you imagine that Miss Cleo headlined, like, Pride in, like, the 90s? Wouldn't that have been so Wouldn't cool? Wouldn't that have been beautiful? I mean, she, she had adopted eight children, yeah. Al. She was trying to make the better uh, the she world was, a better place, uh, and she really did think that she had a gift she and she, she wanted had, to help she others. Help yeah. no now, one last question, I, uh, which is uh, the endearing thing that I think about her. I thought she had a sexy voice. Her accent was sexy. Did anybody else think? Sexy? No. Yeah. no. no I, I knew it was fake because it would change. You know, you could tell. That was that the fun it was, part know, of it, though. Was, yeah, that was, that but we didn't care. We still loved it like that. that. You know, at the end of the day, though, uh, at the end of the day, we, as fake as it is, we love that kind of Jersey girl kind of voice uh, from our lesbians that have moved here. To- <laughs> and her <laughs> smile. Look at her <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.